What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be changing the transmission fluid on my 2011 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. Obviously it's in the middle of the summer. I don't normally do maintenance videos in summer, but it needs done. I'm at 40,000 miles on this bike now. It's calling for a fluid change, so we're gonna do it regardless of the time of year. This doesn't take that long and it's a super easy thing to do. So if you're not really mechanically inclined, this is the video for you because I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do it and we're not gonna waste any time. Full disclosure though, I am not a certified mechanic. I'm just an old garage rat that used to work on race cars and regular cars back in the day. And uh, I just kind of morphed over into motorcycles. And this is not a sponsored video, but today we're gonna to be using some Redline V-Twin synthetic gear oil. Uh, I used to use this uh, shockproof stuff in my racing transmissions and I used to go through quite a few transmissions in my old race car until I switched to this so I'm kind of a diehard on this now started using it in my motorcycles and it's been it's been rock solid for me okay the first thing you're gonna do is drain the oil out right under the transmission on the right side of the bike there's a little hole right here and your drain plug is right up in there and for reference Right there is going to be your engine oil drain on the right, on the left side of the bike. But the transmission plug on a touring bike is easy to, easy to find because it's right here in this hole. Everybody does things a little bit different. I like to loosen the drain bolt first, let it start draining, and then I loosen the fill cap. That way it lets the air in afterwards. That way it doesn't drain as fast all over your hand right at the beginning. And uh, you still get all the oil out with less mess. So you put your pan under there and then you loosen your bolt. And then you'll come up to the top here, and this is your fill port. You'll take that out, and then it'll drain a little quicker. Once that starts draining, you can loosen your fill plug up here, which is a 3 8 hex. A little awkward to hold a camera while I do it, I guess. <laughs> That's your dipstick for your transmission, and then it'll drain a little quicker down here. You can always tell when you're leaking transmission fluid on this. So real quick while that's draining, I wanted to just go over real quick. I change my transmission fluid every 20,000 miles as Harley recommends. Uh, I don't do it sooner than that. I feel like it's a waste of money, waste of oil. I also don't run Sin 3 in my transmission. Uh, for the simple fact that it is an engine oil. Uh, there's some debate on that. I don't, I, we don't need to get into it, but I, I just run gear oil in my transmissions. I always have, always will. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm not using the Sin 3, that's why. Harley recommends we change the oil every 20,000 miles in the transmission, so that's what we're doing. What you want to do after you get the plug out, you want to inspect your drain plug. It's, it's got a magnet on the end of it, and you just want to check that magnet make sure there's not excessive amounts of metal shavings on it. This one looks pretty good. There's not much on there, so I'm happy with that. If you have a lot of metal shavings on there, it's something to be maybe a little bit concerned about. Maybe you got some gears that are grinding a little bit in there. Um, and in that case, maybe you'd want to take it somewhere or start looking at your transmission. Also, as you can tell, there's an O-ring on there. We're going to pull that off and change it out and I believe it's a 012 sized o-ring if I'm wrong I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here and tell you guys exactly what it is then I always clean up where the o-ring seats on the bolt itself that way you know you have a good seal when you go back together all right so once that's done just put your new o-ring on then what we're gonna do it just slips on there like that then you want to torque the drain plug to 14 to 21 foot-pounds I don't have a torque rinse that goes that low, so I'm just going to snug it up with my ratchet. It is O-ringed, so it doesn't have to be extremely tight. 14 foot-pounds is not a lot. Okay, with the drain plug tight, we're going to go ahead and get our funnel. And then the book calls for 0.95 quarts. This is uh, 946 milliliters, so you're not going to use quite all of this. I'm going to probably put uh, about three quarters worth in and then we'll check it with the dipstick and see where we're at. You don't really want to overfill this, so just add it little by little until you get enough in there. Before you put your dipstick back in, it does have an O-ring on it as well. I'll put the size down here. <laughs> I can't remember the exact size. 
Mine does tear a little bit. I think I have a burr inside the case, but it, it always seals it, it never leaks. So I actually just changed this one back in April. It's now June, so it's only been two months. So uh, for whatever reason, it's got some burrs on there I need to clean up. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. All right, after it settles for a little bit, you can put the dipstick back in. Go all the way down with it. Oh, I nailed it. Look at this. So we're right at the full line. So we're sitting pretty. I don't have an O-ring for this. I'll change it later, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in the way it is now, and then I'll get an O-ring later today. This is just a quick on and off. The dipstick doesn't need to be over tightened either. It just needs to be tightened to 25 inch pounds. Again, it's got an O-ring, so it doesn't need to be overly tight. Just kind of seat it up, and that's all. And that's basically it. I'm going to start it up, check for leaks a little bit. I'm probably going to ride it around a little bit today, and I'll check it when I get back home. But again, this is a 2011 Electroglide Ultra Limited. Like I said before, a lot of these are going to be similar, so you can kind of use this as a guide, or I'm sure there's plenty of other videos on YouTube you can find that correlates to your exact model. Uh, hopefully this video helped you out guys and I will see you in the next one.